cool off in some places and you felt it especially if you were a little closer to the coast but downtown la did reach a high of just the 83 which was below the average as we forecast so we kind of broke that streak i'll show you that in just a few moments but high pressure uh, actually was able to move off far enough to our east near texas and it allowed for that onshore flow and that sea breeze to really help cool us down well guess what that high is going to expand back starting today and it's really going to be strong as we get through tomorrow and that's going to help bring our temperatures back up again to well above average anywhere from four to eight degrees above normal so you're going to feel that heat again it's going to stay i think just below advisory criteria so i don't think we'll see those heat alerts but it will definitely feel like uh, summer deep in the summer again it will cool off a bit as we get into thursday and saturday so we'll just wait for that it will be short-lived it'll be just a couple of days of really hot temperature at least in wednesday anyway 64 currently in fresno 62 in santa barbara 50 59 in Burbank to 78 Palm Springs later this afternoon at around 2 p.m. 93 in Burbank. So you're going to feel that heat rise. 108 in Palm Springs and same for Las Vegas. Cooler in Santa Barbara with that 67. And even in San Diego, warmer to 84 degrees. Just a quick look at your out the door temperatures in Canoga Park, the Valley. Oof, it's going to be hot as of 10 a.m. 85 triple digits this afternoon. So make sure you dress the kids appropriately for that heat. I'll send back to you. All right, Maria, thank you. Well, coming up next, a Ferris wheel filled with people catches fire. Also, a wild natural disaster in Russia. 